Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Sagittarius, this is your mid-June prediction, everyone. And what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with a Guardian Angel Oracle deck or Oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a animal spirit card and then an angel number so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any repeating numbers or angel numbers this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right Sagittarius let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit would like you to hear today so we have one card uh, here answered prayer look at this you have an answered prayer that is coming in i'm going to read you the message of this card the universe is listening open your heart and be receptive to the answers and guidance being sent your way pay attention to the signs synchronicities and inner wisdom manifesting in your life i'm going to read this to you one more time the universe is listening sagittarius they're listening to you Open your heart and be receptive to the answers and guidance being sent your way. Pay attention to the signs, synchronicities, and inner wisdom manifesting in your life. So there is some major communication happening here with you, Sagittarius. So this is where um, heightened senses are going to be very important, okay? I love this. And angels are all around you, Sagittarius. I'm just feeling goosebumps right now because there's something happening in some of your lives that look at this. We got another angel coming into this card. So angels are watching over you, Sagittarius, but you're in alignment with a connection with something that is meant for you. And again, this has to do with an answered prayer. And maybe there's something that you have been praying about that has to do with a heart centered energy, something that you deeply care about. Um, this could be a person, um, maybe a reunion of somebody, uh, but they're saying that you are being heard and it's all starting to come through now. I'm getting a Gemini energy coming in as well. So just pay attention to uh, maybe you have Gemini in your birth chart. Perhaps there's somebody around you that is a Gemini, but I'm getting an alignment coming in. This is a major arcana card. So this energy is going to be prominent. However, it's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly. Okay. So we have the devil. You have a lot of distractions. So this is where it is so important that you ground and center yourself every single day Sagittarius is so so important because there's tons of distractions around you there's tons of things that are pulling and tugging at you okay so be mindful of the devil in the details of your life right now what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my reading so whenever you see my cards popping up on screen I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition not only will this strengthen your intuition but you will also receive your own messages so we've got the devil here in the details we've got the knight of pentacles coming in an opportunity for you to really break free from this energy to break free and see things happen and progress in your life I really feel like I'm seeing a lot of fast movement here. You don't have to move so, so quickly, right? There's no rushing things. What's meant to be yours is going to be yours here, Sagittarius. So slow it down just a little bit here. Pay attention to detail because when we quickly move through energies, we can get trapped by this or tripped over, right? So just be mindful at the speed that you're moving at right now. Okay, so a lot of beautiful things that you are creating in your life through this energy of the Knight of Pentacles. All right, now before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your rising and your moon signs. Okay, so 
what is happening here? So we've got a Gemini. We also have Capricorn energy coming through. Um, I do feel that there's something going on with these signs in your life. I don't know how, but there's definitely this presence there. Again, this could be in your birth chart. Perhaps you're surrounded by this or spirit is calling you to embody these energies. So what's happening is there is a big change taking place and there's this path. There's two paths here. There's, they're both mirroring each other, but they're completely different um, the way they look in their realities. And these two are merging right now. So this is what I feel that you have done is you have manifested, you have prayed this energy, this reality to uh, come in and you have made change. So what's activated this for you, Sagittarius, is the fact that you have um, taken an active role in your own life. Like you have you're activated so you are the one that's doing something in your life to put yourself in alignment with this energy is what spirit is saying here you've been following the guidance is, is the other thing spirit is saying that you're seeing the signs here Sagittarius you're seeing them and perhaps maybe there's confusion right maybe this is that um like what I'm seeing is um, someone seeing one thing in a mirror but then when you look back it's not there but you're seeing it here but you're not seeing it there and it's flipping back and forth. I don't know what this means, but this is what they're showing me. So you can um, place that wherever that resonates for you to this mirror where it's reflecting things, but they're, it's one, it's in one part and not, it's like what I'm seeing here is someone in their bedroom with a big round mirror. And as they're looking, there's a crow behind them. So when they look, the crow's not there, but it's in the mirror. So just to give you some clarity of what I'm seeing here. Um, maybe you're seeing crows as signs, um, birds, feathered animals, white and black is what I'm getting here. So I'm getting yin, yang, positive, negative, light, dark. So what is this with the polarity? Is this your mind going back and forth with something? Um, maybe you're trying to make a decision or making a choice around something and you're kind of back and forth with it. So I do feel some of you are uh, making a choice around something, making a decision, and then there's commitment coming in here as well. With this so you're making a commitment on the decision that you make and follow through is going to be very necessary here so um, spirit wants you to make sure that um, when you do make this choice or decision that is coming from the heart center um, that you have a vision in mind before you make this decision so this is where it is so important to meditate on this decision especially if you're having a hard time and you're going back and forth with this okay um, I have a soulmate coming in as well. So there is an, another energy coming into your life that you're aligned to some of you and you're meant to experience this next chapter of your life with this energy in your life. So I'm seeing a stretch, like a cycle with this of um, like 10, 20. These are longer, longer years. Okay, this goes out way more further than the normal cycles that some of, and they're not even normal cycles. Some of you have gone through like a 20 year cycle, 10, 5, but this is, this is, um, this feels infinite for some reason. It feels like way further out. So whatever this is, know it's coming in, you're in alignment. I feel whatever's happening, there is this unfolding of your purpose, um, in your life right and you're aware of this Sagittarius you can feel this energy in your life so I'm getting an irritable energy here someone's irritated and maybe it's because you're not understanding what it is that you want it's this irritation that's that's built up and I feel it's been built up for years and I, I feel it has to do with the devil energy okay so it's irritation and it kind of lays on your back this irritation it feels like um there's an attachment or some sort of energy on your back. That's what I feel like right now. Like there's something on my back, um, just there. It's some sort of presence of energy is what I'm getting here. So um, something that you're holding on to, something that really bothers you. And maybe this is a belief. Maybe this is something that happened that somebody did maybe you went through an experience in your life with maybe a narcissist uh, an energy vampire and it just kind of sits there with you right so you want to release this and let it go just let it go um, don't think about it and I know that's hard to do when it's there but finding ways to clear that out of your mind to release it and letting go there's so many different exercises so many different practices that you can um, use in your life to clear energy I like using um, 
paper and a pen. I like to transfer the energy that is in my mind that I think about and put it on a sheet of paper. And then if I don't like what I'm thinking and I'm writing it down, I tear it up and I just get release that energy. And sometimes I have to do that, you know, a few times in a row, sometimes even 10 times just to release it. But the thing is I'm taking an active role of releasing, right? So sometimes it does take a little longer than others to release these energies. Be mindful of distractions and things that are influence, influencing you at this time as well, Sagittarius, because there is this energy that is coming from outside, like external to you. Now this again can come through people's energies. This can come through uh, the internet, like I'm seeing screens. So things that are glowing that you're looking into that are, you're absorbing the energy from these things. And um, not only are you absorbing, but it's also this thing sucking like life out of you. That's so interesting. It's like sucking your life out. Um, so your cell phone, like what are you watching? Um, what are you putting your energy into? What are you allowing to affect your life through what it is that you are seeing and experiencing? Okay, because this is that darker energy that sometimes creeps up on us when we're least expecting it. Um, it could be a situation that happens with somebody. It could be something that, uh, this could be fear as well. This could be just fear holding you back. So recognize what this is in your life and uh, get rid of it. I know it's easy to just say get rid of it, but no, really work on getting rid of it. This is the year, Sagittarius, where you're meant to turn your fears into your greatest strength. So it's now time to do just that. Okay. And um, in, I, I feel there's a more harder energy coming in through spirit for some of you. And it's because there's a prayer being answered. Um so I, I feel like something tough, some of, the, some of you might have gone through something tough and you're like, I'm hearing someone saying, why are you being so tough on me? Like, why are you, and you're, you're talking to God here and you're asking, why is this happening to me? Why am I going through this? It's because they're wanting you to have the strength and take an active role. And, 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 and again, um, this can be really, really hard. It feels, it just feels really tough, but they're wanting you to look at the light. They want you to release whatever this is. I don't know what this is. Um, so this could be like drugs, addiction, these kind of things, which are really, really hard to let go of, but they're really wanting you to um, do that. They're saying, just try to do that because you have the strength to break free from whatever this is, right? This could be like, uh, I don't know, a, an addiction to the internet. Uh, maybe it's an addiction to chat GPT, right? There's, I've seen so many people nowadays carrying around their chat DP, GPTs and talking to them, right? Because they're on your phone and you can converse with it. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I mean, I, I chat GPT is a good tool, but there's also other things that are um, there that, I, I don't know, this, there needs to be a little bit more exploration around it, I think. So there's an opportunity here. Again, you're breaking free and you're going to break free. They're showing you that you've broken free from it, whatever this is. Um, it could be just like sugar. It could be eating unhealthy. This could be breaking free from a toxic partner, right? Finally doing it. You've been with this person for so long and you finally break free, right? So this is that breaking free and oh my gosh, this is why I feel there was quick movement. There was like this fast, like quickly get out of this, let's move quickly on. So I'm seeing some of you moving away uh, in one city to another, another home to another. Like I'm seeing an environment change in some of your lives. I'm also seeing you quickly like quickly moving ahead and progressing with an opportunity that came in. And perhaps you had to kind of go through um, this like stack of needles or something is what they're showing me, like this big stack. They look like needles, like sewing needles, or this could be like straws. I think it might be straws that look like needles. I don't know, but it's a big stack and you kind of went through the whole thing and it came out this opportunity and you just ran with it. Um, so you're breaking free in a sense. You're, you're, feeling liberated here as well. You're just like, this is so exhilarating and liberating for me. I just can't even believe I haven't done this before. Um, and you're making plans here. I'm seeing you like just organizing things. You're really looking ahead. You know what it is that you need. It's like clarity came in. This is what it is. The clarity comes in. So for some of you, this is something that has held on for so long and perhaps you haven't had clarity in a while. And because you're in alignment, the signs are everywhere. You're being guided. 
um, you know, the distractions, you know, so important to release yourself from these distractions because if we're really thick into this energy, we're not able to connect with the signs. We're not able to see them because we're in that uh, mindset where we're not open and not uh, allowing this to come through. So perhaps you're in a space where your prayer is being answered. Everything is in alignment. It's showing up for you, but you're not seeing it because you're so distracted. This is why it's so important that you be aware of your distractions at this time um, and quickly pick up on this opportunity. And it's, I don't want you to panic here. There is no rush. You're going to, this is going to come in when it's meant to come in for you, when you're meant to see it, right? Because even just that process of releasing and letting go, sometimes we have to go through healing with that. But what I'm getting here is over the next uh, month here, June, July, even into August, you're going to see all of this unraveling in your life. Um, and I do feel that you're going to see the presence of all three cards in your life. Some of you have already gone through this journey. You're way further than what this energy is, right? So you have a story to share around the spread of this card today, Sagittarius. So feel free to share your story in the comment section below. Um, there's a desire. There's this need uh, for independence, like this need to... Um, want to do things your own way like I, I feel that whatever this devil card was was holding you back from truly being yourself and this is an opportunity for you to really live in that experience and your reality right now is to uh, live in that true essence of you to express yourself in the way that you need to that you choose to you're able to really um, plan and do the things that you desire right so I'm seeing a really soft energy coming in even though this is speedy a little bit like you might feel like things are moving really quickly in your life but you're wanting to move at a slow pace so I'm getting a tortoise and hare coming in and they want you to be like the tortoise not the hare because as you slowly move towards it you're going to see how you reach that goal and maybe the hare is distracted right because the distractions are definitely there so the distractions they're saying may come in when you're too quick you might miss something because you're moving too quickly. Um, so just be mindful of the speed that you're moving at right now. Um, also, uh, horses. I don't know if any of you are seeing horses. Um, I'm getting a scorpion coming in like a red bull. Like a red bull. Uh, maybe this is that brand, red bull. That's really interesting. A red bull and um, scorpion. I'm seeing lots of feathers around you as well so lots of signs around you um, dreams pay attention to your dreams because I do feel angels are visiting you and uh, for some of you this is dreams they're coming through your dreams or you're feeling the presence of angels around you lights flickering right these kind of things so I'm now going to pull an animal spirit card for you I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance um, anything more that spirit wants to share with you is also going to come through this card today so we are getting for you donkey look at that have any of you seen a donkey this is your confirmation today if you haven't you're seeing one now on your screen and this donkey is reminding me of donkey Donkey and Shrek so look at that um, it looks like he's in front of uh, Shrek's house here with Christmas lights this is what it looks like to me so the message here is find fulfillment and meaning in the simplest but most essential acts of contribution again find fulfillment and meaning in the simplest but most essential acts of contribution look at that so that is donkey spirit here I'm going to read you the interpretation here from the guidebook so donkey I don't know if any of you are watching um, any of the Shreks here my daughter was over visiting and she actually watched all three of these while she was here um, so amidst the rustic landscapes of farms and fields the donkey emerges as a symbol of determination humility and the noble art of hard work with its patience, patient eyes and sturdy disposition, it offers us profound insights into the, power, into the power of commitment and the essential role of persistence in the human experience. Picture the donkey as it toils in the fields, each step a testament to its tireless work ethic and steadfast nature. It is a creature that understands the value of humility, knowing how to labor tirelessly without seeking recognition or reward. The donkey's existence serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of embracing our roles as diligent workers and the quiet but essential force that propels us forward on our journey. 
The donkey teaches us the art of determination. Just as it carries burdens with unwavering strength, we too can learn to persist through life's challenges. It reminds us that our great resilience and, and endurance are our greatest assets in the face of adversity. From the donkey, we also learn the wisdom of humility. It is a creature that finds purpose in service, willing to labor tirelessly for the greater good without seeking the spotlight. This form of humility underlines the remarkable capacity of the human experience to find fulfillment and meaning in the simplest but most essential acts of contribution. The donkey's message is clear. Embrace your inner worker and trust in your ability to achieve greatness through persistence and dedication. Your diligence and commitment are your greatest strength. So persistence, commitment is all coming through uh, the Knight of Pentacles for you. Just as the donkey labors with humility and purpose, so too can you find fulfillment in your role as a steadfast contributor to the betterment of society. Moreover, cultivate a sense of humility in your life. Just as the donkey finds purpose in service, you too can discover the profound fulfillment that comes from contributing to the well-being of others without seeking recognition, okay? So look at that. Embrace donkey spirit here, everyone. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you mind mastery look at that so there's some mind mastery coming in sometimes this can be in that um, devil energy what i'm getting here through this mind mastery is maybe there's um your mind is just i feel there's a maze here that's what i'm seeing i don't know how else to describe this other than a maze you're going to master this maze um Sagittarius 57 57 if you're seeing fives and sevens the number five is all about change in numerology it's also the success and the growth that comes from that change by you enduring that change but also being flexible and adaptable being like a shapeshifter as you're moving through that change the number seven is a spiritual number a number of introspection right so this is where spirit is really wanting you to go inward so the message sorry timing those of you looking for timing five to seven days, five to seven weeks, five to seven months, and five to seven hours. So your knowledge is growing. You're becoming more wiser. Things are opening up for you. There's more understanding. Your mind is expanding. Um, wisdom, they're really wanting you to get into higher studies, um, study in general, higher education. So they're wanting you to dive into knowledge, to soak some information in. Um, so reading books, uh, picking up on new skill sets, learning more, mastery is all coming through this today. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.